Okay, so yesterday we finished sanding. We cut down the uh, Bondo from 80 to 120 to 220 and then to 320. Sanded the store again with 320. Sanded the trunk again with 320. Um, and cleaned the bumper up really, really well. I just degreased everything so it's ready to go. Um, I did not get a chance to run to the hardware store and pick up the stuff that I needed. So I'm gonna have to kind of ghetto it a little bit today. Uh, at least for this first coat and then pick up the stuff that I need. Later, we have the important things. Um, so we'll go over that with you. Um, gloves are always good to have during this job because even if you're really neat, it's pretty easy to get paint on yourself. I got these the other day. So I'm gonna wear them. Um, this paint that I've got is kind of old. So, uh, I mean, not super old. It's about a month old and it's been sitting outside. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. So before anything, I'm gonna grab this. And give it a good shake. shake it up <clears throat> and we will open it up see what we're looking like okay paper towels are definitely your friend in this project we're just going to use this to mix up our paint so you need the paint it's just rust-oleum oil based paint it's like 30 bucks a gallon really cheap paint and then some of this heavy duty cleanup, whatever, just some acetone. Okay, so there's a, a lot of stuff on the internet about how much you should mix in with your paint. I found it's more of an art than a science. So, what you want to do is just pour some acetone in. You just gotta mix it up. You gotta mix it really, 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 really well. I'm gonna use this spoon to test it. And basically, what you want is you want it to drip in about uh, three seconds, three to four seconds. So I'm gonna stir it a little bit more. And that's kind of the mixture that you're looking for, is it? Three, four, so that's about right. I do it a couple times. One, two, three, four. Let's see it starts dripping. And then one more time just for good measure. One, two, three, four, and it starts dripping. So that's pretty much a good mixture. At least from that's what I've been doing from what I found on the internet and what I've experienced so far. So this is gonna be the paint that we use. It's just acetone and that rust-oleum. I'm gonna pour it in this roller or this makeshift roller pan and uh, we'll start painting. The roller you use, the roller you're going to use is a, is a high density foam roller. Um, they're called detail rollers. You can find them in the paint section of your hardware store.
All right, so we got three coats of paint on the car. I thought I was gonna be able to get away with three. I'm gonna need to do four. Um, I've been letting it dry for about eight or nine hours per coat because it's kind of cold. Uh, but we got some warm weather today, so I'm gonna put the fourth one on and let it dry, and it should be good to go after that. So I'm gonna pull the car out real quick, put this coat on uh, just really, really quick, and, um, and then let it sit, and then I'll pull it out and let uh, you guys see it whenever I get done. All right, let's do it. All right, that's the fourth coat. I'm gonna let it dry. I'll detape it, detape it. Not gonna work. I'll untape it. I'll wash it, and then I will uh, do a walk around of the car and uh, talk about what's next for it. I've got probably one more video on this car, and then it'll be done, and we can move on to the other projects, which I'm really excited about. So, thanks for watching. All right, so as you can see, the car is done. Um, it took four coats of paint on the doors and on the trunk, three on the bumper, because the bumper was already white. Uh, so coverage was pretty good. I haven't even touched it, I haven't washed the car or anything. So this is just like it comes as you finish it. Um, I'll be washing the car and taking care of it, cleaning it up a little bit once I get a few other things done. I've got one more video for this car. Um, we'll be touching up a few things and then we'll be done with it. So we'll be able to move on to the next project. I'm gonna do a quick walk around just so you can see the difference. and. Um, yeah, and then we'll go on to the next thing. So that's it. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. The lighting here is pretty harsh, but I wanted to go ahead and finish this video so we could get on to the next one. Uh, so take it for what it's worth. I'll be posting a final video when we're done with the car completely, and uh, we'll get some good lighting on it. So thanks for watching. Uh, keep up with us. We're going to finish this project up soon, and we'll move on to the next one.